Happy Easter, my friends. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. I'm off to church with my youngest and then probably back to bed. Of course, the natural <laughs> progression after church is shopping at Old Navy. <laughs> so it is Easter Sunday. I had a lovely morning with my youngest daughter. My oldest daughter couldn't join us, unfortunately. And I went to church. Um, I actually I don't go to church regularly. I am a Christian. Um, I live a very faith-filled life. I have a very strong relationship with God, a personal relationship, but I don't participate in a lot of church activities. Sometimes I miss it, sometimes I don't. Today, going back to the church where I grew up and spent the first almost 30 years of my life, um, I don't, there's a lot of backstory to it, but I think it was good for me to go because I realized I never, uh, I'm done with that chapter of my life. If I do return to church anywhere, it's not going to be there. There's a lot behind that that I'm not going to go into here in the vlog. Um, some things are better left unsaid and some chapters just close without a the end to them. And this is one of those. I wanted to talk, though, a little bit about myself and what faith means to me because faith is, in, in my opinion, is different than religion. Religion is that um, constructed, organized, structured activity that you're expected to attend and participate in. And while there is definitely some value in being around people who have the same beliefs and have the same levels of faith and that kind of thing. Um, my journey, it just hasn't fit in well with that. And, and not even just now as an adult, but even as a younger child, like I just, now when I think back on my life, I think so many things happened to me because of structure that was forced upon me. I've now that I'm in my 50s, I realize that I've always been a square peg trying to fit into a round hole. And it just, <laughs> I've been forcing myself in and just never fitting. And call me a slow learner. I don't care. <laughs> it's taken me a long time to figure some of this stuff out. And it has also taken me equally as long to accept and love myself the way I am, square peg and all. <laughs> um, and I think that that is life. Like that is where the absolute essence and joy of life is, is in learning who you are, where you fit, even if that's just one other person, you fit with someone. I don't think we're intended to be 100% alone. And then knowing how best to serve others. And that's serving others means anyone, in my opinion, not just the people who are the same as you, if that makes sense. So, and for me, faith has been a huge part of that. Not religion, but faith. Faith has quite honestly kept me alive. A lot of different situations throughout the last, well, <laughs> going back to teen years, you know, there have been different situations where um, that felt hopeless and I didn't know it at the time, but it was faith that, that helped me through that. It's always been faith. And to me, my faith is in God. Another thing about me, though, is while there are many different religions, I don't judge it's not my place. I won't judge. It's one of the reasons why I stay away from watching the news. And quite frankly, even though I do social media for a living, I stay off of a lot of social media because I just can't, I can't handle the judgment and the, just the shit, the crap that's going on in the world and how it's all centered around hate and an unwillingness to understand one another. So I can't, I just stay away. And that, I think that's okay. <laughs> because it keeps me sane. Anyways, I just wanted to share myself a little bit with you today and explain a little bit what faith means to me and how grateful I am just for this life and 
all the good things it holds. I was so grateful to spend some time with my children over this weekend. Uh, that doesn't happen often anymore, so that's been wonderful. And that's it. So I'm going to watch hockey now for the rest of the evening because tis the season. Even though my team isn't in the NHL playoffs, I still watch the playoffs because it's exceptional hockey. That being said, I hope you had a wonderful day. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me and mine. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. One, two, one, two, three, four. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. I like